Aloha! Welcome to another episode of MKO at Home. My name is Callie Crowder. I'm one of the remote observers at the Canada France Hawaii Telescope and today we're going to be making CD rainbow mobiles. So if you've ever looked at a CD you can see plenty of rainbows coming through them. If they hit the light just right they can get a rainbow projected onto a wall. So we're going to take a quick look at the science behind that. Let's talk a little bit about rainbows, the science behind rainbows. So if you live here in Hawaii, we have rainbows all over the place, all the time. Um, and that's partially caused by the amount of rain and moisture we have in our atmosphere. So what causes these rainbows to happen? Well, light has different wavelengths depending on the colors. So just like there are waves in the ocean, light has waves as well, just on very small scales. So you see that red is much longer than what the violet is up here at the top. And all these colors go in and they make one color of light, and that's white light. That's the light we typically see coming from the sun or a flashlight. So if white light hits a prism or something that will refract that light, then this rainbow will come out of it. So that refraction happens when the material that this light is going through causes that light to slow down and refract. And then because each wavelength is different, they're going to start moving at different speeds through that um, prism or whatever it's moving through. And the same thing happens with rainbows we see in nature. nature. Essentially what happens is that white light is coming in, it's being refracted once it goes into a raindrop or a couple of raindrops, and that's being reflected as it's moving throughout that raindrop until it comes out here at the bottom. And that's what causes the rainbows we see in nature. Now, coming from a CD, it's a little bit different, but the same concept. So, uh, pretend like this thin film of oil right here is actually uh, the thin layer of plastic that's at the bottom of a CD. And then underneath that is a reflective layer, which is aluminum. So that light is coming in from your flashlight or from the sun, and some of it is going to bounce right off, and you're going to see some white light or the reflection of a CD coming off. But some of that light's going to go through that thin plastic and reflect off of the bottom of uh, the plastic where the aluminum is, and then bounce off, um, and come out in the rainbow. So it does the refraction point right here, it reflects off, and then it comes out in that rainbow pattern. So that's what's happening when we see rainbows, just on very small scale, so we can't see it with our naked eye, but we can see the results of it as the rainbow. So let's move on to making our mobiles. So what you're going to need for this is um, a couple of popsicle sticks. You're going to need some twine or string or yarn. It's up to you. A pair of scissors. And I'm using four CDs. Now I went ahead and painted uh, the backs of these, the non-shiny side, uh, just in a different patterns. Um, just for a little bit of fun, but make sure you leave the shiny side open because uh, that's what's going to be reflecting the light coming in. So to start construction, we're going to start with the top. So we have our two popsicle sticks 
And now you can glue these together right in the center. So you want to create an X right in the center. I don't have any glue, so I'm just going to use some string. So we're just going to take it and uh, wrap it around in both directions until it's nice and tight. And then we'll finish by tying it in a knot right at the center. So you want to make sure to leave lots of extra string at the end so we can tie this either outside or inside later on so that we can see the rainbows. So our next step that we want to do is we want to cut four pieces of string in varying lengths. It's up to you um, how long you want them to be. Uh, just don't keep them at the same level. Have them at a few different levels instead. So in each corner of these, uh, with this, this long string up, we're going to tie these other strings to each of these four corners. Once again, you can do this with glue. I don't have any glue, so I'm making do and just using some string instead. So once you get the ropes tied around each side, uh, it's going to look something like this, a little bit messy, that's okay. And what we're going to do now is we're going to take one of our CDs, and it doesn't matter which side, but we're just going to thread the string through the center and tie it in a knot up at the top. All right, and you can do that with as many CDs as you want to use. I'm currently using four. Once we have all four CDs attached, it look, should look something like this. All of our CDs around in a circle. So now it's the fun part. Now we gotta go outside and test it out in the sun. So here we go. Uh, we're all hung up with the CDs blowing in the Waimea wind over here. But you see, as they blow, they get their rainbows projected right onto this white pole here. Now, if you don't have natural sunlight, you can, of course, use a flashlight. And we'll head in and uh, check out the light from a flashlight on the back of the CD next. If you don't have direct sunlight to use as your light source, you can instead use a flashlight. So here I have a flashlight, and if I put it on the CD and we look up at the wall, you can see rainbow shining through. Now, when I move the light around, the rainbow changes as well. So you can take this and look for rainbows with your mobile instead if you don't have that natural light. I hope you guys enjoyed today's activity. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe to the Mauna Kea Observatory YouTube page so you don't miss out on other activities we have in the future. Thanks and have a great day.